What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be the start of a brand new series we're gonna be starting here on the channel called Five Tips and Info You Need to Know for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So hopefully you will learn something new in this video and maybe take away something with you to help you improve your overall play style within Black Ops Cold War or even you could share something within this video to one of your friends in the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our very first tip, which has to do with countering care packages. Now before, if you blew up a care package to deploy ship, you could fire a rocket launcher at it, but if you blew the ship up, then the care package would just drop wherever the deploy aircraft was at. But now if you destroy the aircraft, you can completely eliminate the care package from even falling onto the map with your rocket launcher, thus stopping them from getting a free random kill streak and also making that person very, very upset because they will not be getting anything from their care package. I recommend having at least one or two players on your team using a rocket launcher because right now the game is gonna default a care package to anybody that gets the game. And since it's still pretty fresh and new, there are gonna be a ton of care packages being called into the game, so be ready. You can also toggle on subtitles to give you a better indicator for when the enemy team has called in a care package. Now, speaking about some settings, we're gonna take a look at the colorblind customization options. Now, before, there were preset color settings that some people would toggle on just to kind of give them something that's a bit more easier on the eyes to see. Even though I myself am not colorblind, I still really liked having the option to change the colors on my minimap. But in Black Ops Cold War, Treyarch took it a step further and added a wider range of color options to choose from for every little arrow indicator on your minimap. So you could change the color for your arrow, the ally color, the enemy color, and then the party color, which will tell you who in the game is one of your friends that you invited to play with. So I highly recommend turning this on, trying this out, customizing the colors to something that you feel is better for you to look at. And yeah, props to Treyarch for giving us this option. But to add on to something really, really cool within the options, if you go to the account and network settings and then toggle on code names, this will effectively hide your Activision ID from players within the game by generating a random code name to the rest of the lobby. So if you take a look at my friend Prestige, his real Activision ID is set prestigious key, but after toggling on code names, it has been changed to Feverinly or however the hell you say that name. Um, yeah, it's kind of a fun feature as well. If you wanna to toggle this on with your friends and figure out who exactly is who in the game, and what silly name the game will generate. For our third tip, it's a really cool strategy to utilize while riding on a vehicle. So as you may know, while driving, you obviously cannot use your weapon, but instead you got a mantle off ADS, worry about lining your shots up. It's just a lot of scrambling around the buttons on your controller or keyboard. So what you can do instead is switch to the passenger seat and let the momentum of the vehicle carry you and then start shooting your weapon at the enemy. It's a super duper easy switch from passenger to driver and vice versa by the swift click of a button and also a very fun strategy to utilize in game modes with vehicles. Next up, if y'all didn't know, you can receive a free shotgun blueprint by doing absolutely nothing except opting into receiving emails from Call of Duty. And all you gotta do is head over onto your Call of Duty account, go to the preferences tab in the profile, and then check the box to opt in for emails. You'll receive a free weapon charm as well in your emails around your birthday too, so maybe there could be other hidden rewards that email subscribers will receive within the near future. Highly recommend you guys doing this right now. And then finally, for our last tip, we're gonna be looking at the flashlight attachments. So for our AK-47 Iron Curtain, it comes equipped with the Tiger Team Spotlight attachment, which increases the reveal distance by 40%. And on screen now is the distance for which you can see the red dot indicator above the enemy's name. So when it comes to identifying players at a distance or even if they may be hiding in the bushes somewhere or just a darkened area around one of the maps, you can really get a good view of where that player is gonna be at by using the flashlight attachments for your weapons. On the map Miami though, this is very, very effective because of how dark the map is, but I find it to be the most effective and useful on Cartel in case the enemy players are hiding inside one of the bushes, especially on domination. So this is gonna be it for episode one, guys. Please send your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Is there anything you'd like to see me test out or have featured here on the series? Again, please let me know down below in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, love y'all so, so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.